Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Now, she's got her notebook today, and you guys know when I have my notebook, I'm about to break something down or rip something to shreds. If you're a subscriber, you know how this goes. The notebook means I'm serious, and I have quite a few pages of notes today, so. <laughs> It's gonna be one of those videos. I recently bought a skincare fridge. I saw all these cute TikTok videos of people like restocking their fridge and they looked so adorable in people's bedrooms and I really like cold skincare. So for me, you know, the aesthetics were there. It looked so sweet. I did my research. I thought I knew everything, but within six hours, I regretted it. I just knew. <laughs> it wasn't going to work for me. I watched so many videos and I feel like people really skipped over these downsides and people were really focused on the aesthetics and how cute they are. But they didn't mention some of the things I'm gonna bring up in this video and I kind of wish they did. So I'm here today to make the video that is the argument as to why you shouldn't spend your money on a skincare fridge and what to expect if you do buy one. And also I'm gonna show you what I'm doing instead now that the skincare fridge is gonna leave my life. <laughs> a few positives and it's only two positives so it won't take long but I just thought you know let's start on like a good positive vibe before we rip the fridge to shreds. <laughs> so the reasons I did like the fridge are it's absolutely adorable. It looks so cute on my bedroom side. I love it. I love waking up and it's there and it's so sweet. It's just cute. It's aesthetically pleasing. I was really enjoying it for all of five minutes. And the second reason that I did like it is I really like my skincare cold. A cold sheet mask and a cold moisturizer in the morning is just chef's kiss. But don't worry, I'm still getting cold skincare. Just keep watching till the end and I'll show you what I do now. Now let's get into dragging, shall we? So the number one reason that this fridge is going back and I will never see another skincare fridge in my life is it is so noisy. Now I'd watched a lot of videos and I'd really tried to figure out beforehand how noisy are these fridges because no one really mentions it. Like a lot of people in their comments, like they don't mention it in their video, but in the comments when people ask, they're like, oh yeah, it makes a little bit of noise, but it doesn't really bother me. Like, yeah, it's fine. You can totally have it in your bedroom. If you are a light sleeper or you're someone who just enjoys silence at nighttime, do not get one of these fridges. It is not quiet. Even on the page where I ordered this from, it has a picture of a baby next to the fridge and the baby's like fast asleep and just living its best sleeping life. I could not sleep with this fridge on. I turned it off within 15 minutes. I tried. I really tried, but the thing is noisy. There is absolutely no way that I could have one of these in my bedroom. I just wouldn't sleep at night. I think it's louder than a fan. It genuinely is louder than the actual fridge in my kitchen. I put them side by side to check and it's louder than my big ass fridge. So it's like, why? It's, it's so small, like why is it making this much noise? The second reason is that it has a mirror on the front and I love this mirror. It's a light up mirror, it is so cute, but the mirror is actually unusable unless you place the fridge somewhere where you can genuinely use the mirror. If you put the fridge somewhere low, you're gonna have to sit on the ground to use that mirror or you're gonna be like bending over and like, I'm just not, I'm not like 15 anymore. I can't be like, you know, like breaking my back for a cute little skincare fridge. So I had to place it somewhere where it's kind of in front of me when I'm standing. So I have it on top of a chest of drawers in my bedroom and it kind of like, it's just a bit too low. So I always find myself like hunched over to use this mirror and it's just uncomfortable. So bear that in mind, if you do purchase one that has a cute mirror on the front, where are you gonna put it? so that you can actually use that mirror. And if it's somewhere where you can't comfortably use the mirror, there's no point getting one with a mirror on front. So the light works. I mean, oh my God. 
Well, we can add this to the reasons as to why I don't, I don't want it because it's not working. Okay, there's the light. Another huge reason that I dislike this fridge is that it's, okay, yeah, obviously it says mini fridge. <laughs> like, I understand that completely, but this thing is absolutely tiny. Most of them I saw online, people had a four liter or a six liter fridge. I bought a 10 litre fridge and I thought, oh, that's gonna be like a decent size, fit a decent amount of stuff in. It is still absolutely tiny. I don't understand how people who got the four litre or the six litre are genuinely using this fridge because like what, what are you going to fit inside of it? There's even a little compartment in the door which is actually unusable. Now all the TikTok videos, people are like stacking their sheet masks in this door compartment. But if you do that and you fill it with sheet masks, you can't actually close the fridge door. So it just defeats the point. Like I wanted to stack my sheet masks in, you know, I wanted to be cute. I wanted to be aesthetic. Let me just show you guys what I mean and also just give you a visual representation of how much you can actually fit in this fridge. This is the inside. So you have two shelves. They are removable, but these are the only two places they can go. They also have this compartment in the front. Okay, I hope that gives you a decent idea of like how much you can fit in. I've got like some smaller bottles. This is like an ordinary serum, which everyone knows the size of. So I feel like if I put that at the front, you can get a good idea of like the size of the bottom shelf. These are sheet masks, but they're smaller than the average size of a sheet mask. The average size of a sheet mask is actually this size. And this couldn't fit in there without folding. So it only fits smaller size sheet masks in the actual shelves. The bigger ones will have to go in the door. I wanna show you what I meant when I said that you can't actually fill this front compartment. So if I was to fill this with sheet masks, the door doesn't close. So when I got this fridge, what I wanted to use the front compartment for was just to kind of fill with masks as so. I'd probably fit another one in there. You can see it's not, like leaning forward. So considering the shelf goes out that far, I would assume the fridge is built so you can close it, but you, you literally can't. So you can only have like four sheet masks in the front for it to close comfortably. And then you'd have to put some smaller things in like maybe a gua sha or I don't know, a lip balm, etc. But if you were thinking that you wanted to fill the front up with sheet masks, it's not gonna happen, just so you know. Okay, so now that you guys know why me and the mini fridge are no longer friends, like it can be as cute as it wants to, but I just, I can't make this work. I can't have things disturbing my sleep, okay? I just can't, <laughs> I'm passionate about this situation. It's not gonna happen. So let me show you what I did instead. The minute I knew this fridge wasn't gonna be in my bedroom and being convenient, I just thought, well, why don't I use my actual fridge instead? And I had some friends tell me like, why don't you just use your real fridge <laughs> to keep your stuff cold? I was going for convenience and cuteness, okay? I've learned that I'm not gonna get either, so we're using the real fridge now. I didn't want to be struggling carrying my stuff to and from the fridge every day, so I thought, how can I make this as easy, simple, and convenient as I can for myself? So you know, like, in a fridge door, you have little compartments and shelves? I measured how big that was, and I went and found a cute little box that would fit perfectly, that I could just fill with my stuff and grab, go to my bedroom and then take everything back and just quickly put it back in the fridge. And I ended up getting this. I got a bunch of these. You may have seen them in my shelf organization video. If you haven't watched that yet, I will link it on the screen or in the description right now. These came in packs of four from TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're in the USA. And it's just the perfect size to just slot into my fridge door. I fill it up with skincare. I'll show you how much fits in just a second. And I just pop it in there and it is great. So I picked out everything that I actually want cold. So obviously I'd have to have retinol because it needs to go in the fridge. I liked having my serums cold. That was a very good time. My everyday moisturizer, which is I'm using Witch's Lab. 
Um, anything I haven't opened, like I haven't opened this limo one yet, so there's literally no point putting it in the fridge. Um, my SPF, that was very fun being cold. My Jade Roller can go in, because I like that being cold. That's pretty much everything I would use in the morning. And then obviously I wanted to put in some sheet masks because they're just so nice cold. Welcome to my fridge door. <laughs> very exciting stuff. This just fits perfectly in here. It doesn't take up much room for my fridge at all, which makes me very happy because I didn't want to sacrifice much room for food. This is me in the morning. Yawn, yawn, very tired. Oh, I just want to refresh myself with some cold skincare. La la la, done. I really hope this video is useful for anyone who, like me, was doing the research and wanted to know like the bad side of a skincare fridge. I highly recommend just getting yourself a cute little fridge box that you can put your stuff in, saving yourself a whole bunch of money and sleeping well at night. <laughs> If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps with sharing the video on YouTube. And also let me know what other products you'd like me to try and give you a brutally honest review of. I'll link some more of my videos on the screen now so you can check them out. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.